All right, friends. So I'm going to show you how to use the GoPro app. It's pretty epic. So just click the GoPro app in the bottom right corner. I've already downloaded the images and you could see all the 360 footage I have. So this is one 3D footage I have of me essentially shooting through photography of this man doing the cutoff technique getting in front of him. And then I see these people here and the working scene, click, 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 which I'm like photographing somebody behind them. And then essentially I'm just following these people and you can see I'm at Epic Kyoto Station. So you get the whole freaking epic view all around me. Then what I do is I go down the escalator and essentially I'm photographing and looking all around me. I know you're getting a little bit dizzy. It's like a pretty epic space. Definitely go to Kyoto Station if you haven't. Also one tip I have is when you're shooting street photography, go down escalators and you can look behind you and photograph Oh, this is gonna be super epic. Behind you. And looking you up. There's so many different things. And all around at the Kyoto yes. Station This from is actually below. pretty epic too. There's epic donut hole in the center of Kyoto Station. One thing you can also do when you're shooting Also photographing people as they're going down. Just wait for people to come to you and shoot them as they're photographing. So this is a good technique where you're just waiting for people to come to you. You could Let shoot the, the compositions. And yeah, so we saw that video. And the cool thing what you could do with uh, this GoPro over capture is on the bottom, there's that record button. So essentially I could record a two dimensional video based on the footage I've already captured. So I can start pushing this button here. So now I'm just using essentially the iPad and just reframing essentially what I see. And so it's so cool because I'm able to essentially relive reality and it, to me it's empowering okay. to me as a photographer and visual storyteller because you could essentially change the camera angles, you could look in different directions that you're normally not used to looking. Used to looking. So it's fun not only the, for the viewer but also for the photographer themselves to be able to relive reality. And I'm like wow I totally forgot me photographing this direction. And even one tip when you're looking at 360 footage, don't always look at what's in front of you, but take a look at and take a look at what's up behind you. Oh, this is going to so, be super epic. Fusion is one of the things that's really Looking exciting. up so, and all around at the Kyoto Station from below. A lot of people sometimes get a little bit dizzy from this footage because the technology is not 100% perfect. But also photographing people it's interesting enough for us as you're going pursue. down. You could see the perspective that I get when I'm shooting. So this is a good technique and where I think just waiting for people to come to you. Let the, the fishes come to you. It's also a good way to share your experiences. So I have that footage in the bottom right corner. I could just click save. And essentially what it's starting to do is downloading it as a flat two-dimensional video to keep it on my iPad. And this is also another pro tip is that if you get a GoPro Fusion, I actually recommend not using your laptop to process the files because the laptop with the uh, Fusion Studio software is extremely slow. Rather use you know your iPad, the iPad Pro, the newest version is actually really, really fast. Even faster than the 2017 MacBook Pro that um, I have with the, the touch bar. And you could also use the GoPro app on your Android device or even your iPhone. And essentially what you just do is, you know, this is gonna take a while, so you let the, the file download to your iPad and then you could directly share it to, to YouTube or sync it via Dropbox. And so once again, this is just a basic bare bones preview to GoPro Fusion and also the GoPro app. There's so much exciting new opportunities in 360 slash virtual reality, augmented reality. I'd recommend you to just pick up a GoPro Fusion, just play with it, experiment with it, and yeah, discover what kind of new cool stuff you could do with it.